These gorgeous dresses are from Rapunzel's Fashion Show Part 2. They're so easy to make. No sewing or gluing required. I show you how in this video. Here are some of the things I use to make the dresses. Stretchy tube hairbands. Small elastics. Ribbon. Rolls of tulle. Little hair clips. I use these a lot. And stickers like these. These dresses are designed so that anyone could make them, especially children. The main body of all these dresses are hairbands. The tool skirts on these three dresses are made the same way. Once you know how to make the white tool skirt, you'll know how to make the pink one and the green one. The white wedding dress. Start with a white hairband. Measure the length from her armpits to her waist. Fold it under. Smooth it out. Put it on the doll and pull it right up. Take a row of stickers. These are silver. This is going to be the shoulder strap. Cut off the excess and save it. Take another row of stickers for the other side. There. Now for the front. Start the row of stickers pointing into a V shape. Wrap it around as far as it will go. Take another row of stickers to complete the V shape. Cut off the excess. Use a few stickers to fill in the space in the middle of the V. Measure the tool from the waist to the toes and double it and cut. Perfect. Fold up the hem of the dress. The tool needs to be cut into strips. I can get three strips from this. Fold the tool into thirds and cut along the fold. There, three strips. They measure about one and a half inches wide and about 13 inches long. This empty cardboard roll is from the roll of tulle. It's bigger than a toilet paper roll and a lot stronger. I use this to help me make the tulle skirts. For the waistband, I use small elastics like these. Make sure they have a lot of stretch. These rainbow loom elastics work great too. Look how stretchy they are. For this tutorial, I'm going to use big colorful elastics so you can see what I'm doing. Pull the bottom over the top. Grab the bottom and pull it out and put one strip of tulle through. Now grab the top elastic and pull it over the bottom. Take the top elastic and pull it out and put another strip through. And do it again. Each time the elastic is twisted by pulling the elastic over the other. Here are two more openings to hold more strips. And it's really easy to adjust the strips. This is the skirt completely done with two white elastics. There's about 10 strips of tulle on there. Now put the doll in the tube and pop the skirt onto her waist. So easy, it's like magic. Adjust the strips. The back here is a bit loose. Take a clip and pull all the tulle, elastic, and hairband together and get the clip right in there. 
This will cinch the waist. Close the gap. And here it is. You can open the front a little if you want. Or not. It's a beautiful wedding dress. Pink pixie dress. Start with a pink tube hairband. Measure from her armpits to just below her hips and double it. And cut. I'm not going to cut it because I already have one right here and it's the shade of pink I want. It's already folded, so I'll unfold it so you can see. It has a design on it, but when I fold it in, you can't see it. There, it's perfect. Take a ribbon twice the length of the doll. Put one end through it. One end will be about three inches longer. Pull the hairband up to her armpits. Take the ribbon and pull it to the back and go up inside the hairband. Take the longer end and wrap it around her neck. Tie it low and tuck the ends into the dress. Take a row of stickers and put it on the ribbon in the front. Take another row of stickers and wrap it around the neck and down the back. The dress part is done. Now for the tulle skirt. Measure from the waist to the knees. Double it and cut. Cut it into thirds just like we did for the white wedding dress. These strips are about 6 inches long. Put all the ends together and cut into a point. For this dress, I used two pink elastics. The skirt is put together exactly like the skirt of the white wedding dress. You will need 21 strips to fill it up. It will look like this when you're done. Put the doll into the tube. And there it is. Easy peasy. It's kind of loose here, so I'm going to cinch the waist with a hair clip. There. Push the skirt right up to it. This looks great. Green mermaid dress. In the fashion show, I used blue stickers for the top. Then I found green stickers, which is what I really wanted. So yay! Start a roll of stickers at the top and cross over to the bottom. It sits high on the top and barely covers her breast at the bottom. That's okay. Do the same on the other side. Next, place a row underneath and bring it up under the top row. Do the same for the other side. Now fill it in with stickers. The blue top I made for the fashion show has two layers of stickers, but I'm just going to do one layer of green for this tutorial.
Now fill in the spaces and the back. Wow, this looks gorgeous. For the tail, take a hairband and measure from her waist to her toes and add an inch. Pull the tail up past the waist and roll the edge down. Keep the front lower than the back. I think a jewel will look nice here. Now for the tail fin. Measure from her knees to her toes. Fold and cut. These strips are exactly like the pink pixie dress, only a little shorter. Fold this into thirds and cut along the fold. The strips will be about five inches long. Put the ends together and cut them into a point, just like the pixie dress. Attach the strips to the elastic just like the white wedding dress and the pink pixie dress. It'll look like this. I used 12 strips for this. Put the doll in the tube and pop it on. She looks just like a mermaid. Do you like the green top or the blue? You could make it any color you like. I think Ariel's is purple. Blue Elsa dress. Start with a blue hairband. It should be from her armpits to about two inches past her toes. Pull it up and fold down the top. There. Fold up the bottom to make a nice finished edge. Measure the tool from her armpits to her toes and double it. And cut. And cut it in half. Take one panel of tool and place it right under the fold. Do the same on the other side. Don't worry about the back for now. Fold the top over the tool. This will hold the panels of tool in place. Now, measure a piece of tool the diameter of her chest and cut. I only want half the width, so fold and cut. Fold it into thirds and put it over the top of the dress. Pinch everything together in the back and use a clip to hold it all together. Now the train. Measure from the back and extend it three inches or more past her toes. Fold it in half lengthwise and cut the end into a round shape. Bunch up the top end and use a clip to hold it all in place. Use as many clips as you need. Make a V-shape in the front with the stickers. Wrap some stickers around her hair elastic and put some on the top. Here is the back with the train. And here it is without the train. She looks awesome. Yellow prom dress. Measure from her armpits to just below her hips and double it. Fold it under. This dress is like the pink pixie dress. Take a ribbon that's twice the length of the doll. Put one end of the ribbon through the hairband. Make the ribbons even. Pull the dress up. This time, pull the ribbon up over the back and tuck it in. Leave it there for now. The skirt. Measure the tool from the waist to the toes and double it. Cut. You need four panels. Each of them folded in half. I use two yellow elastics. This time there's no weaving. Bunch it up and pull it under both elastics. Adjust the panel so that the elastic is in the middle. Do this for each panel. You really only need one elastic, but I use two for extra strength. Fold all the panels down. Push the panels to the top of the tube. 
put the doll in the tube and pop it on. Use a clip to cinch in the waist and to hold the ribbon in place. Tie a bow. Make adjustments if needed. Add stickers to the top edge. Rapunzel is so pretty. Now that you know how to make these dresses, which one is your favorite? The white wedding dress? The pink pixie dress? The new green mermaid dress? The blue Elsa dress? Or the yellow prom dress? Post your answer in the comments section below or click on the i card in this corner and take our poll. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. In this video, I show you how I did Rapunzel's hair for the fashion show part 2. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.